In this video, we're going to look at how to make a cut file of a stamp that you aren't able to trace using just the high pass filters. Um, the Santa Claus stamp we did was really easy. The lines scanned beautifully, and that particular stamp was scanned using a photo scanner. I just ran it through my photo scanner and it picked up the lines really sharply. And a lot of times, most people are probably going to scan using a scanner. And you can see that on a flatbed scanner, like you've got, you might have some dirt and things in the background. This one isn't too bad. We're not going to have a problem with that issue. But there, there's a lot of things that you might have to clean up. And I'm going to show you on this particular stamp. This isn't a real good stamp. It, it would never work even if it was um, sufficient because there's an opening here. But I'm going to select the kitties. And I'm going to show you what the problem is here. Trace it. Turn off the high pass. Turn on low. Take the threshold up as far as I can get it. And it's starting to go outside the line, so I have to go down a little bit. Okay. And trace. Way too much red. Undo. Sometimes lowering the low pass down to 25 might help. In this instance, I know it isn't because there's too many openings. So this image just isn't, isn't going to do it. So at this point, you're going to need to have some knowledge of an image editing program. And I'll show you at another time how to use Photoshop. I'm rusty with Photoshop because it's not the one I use on a daily basis. I use um, Adobe Fireworks, which I'm going to open right now. In your image editing software, what we're going to have to do is fill in the image. So I use a paintbrush set to black and set your settings. And this is just a small one. If you want to get the little pieces, you have to color them in as well. And then I'd like to keep the white area between the kittens. And so I start with just the outline. I'm not going to fill in the whole image. And then you just have to keep going until you get the whole thing blacked out. Okay, I filled in the cats pretty quickly here. And I close this off just so I can demonstrate this to you. And what I'm going to do is we've got some smudges here and that could cause us some problems in our scan. So I'm going to take my magic wand tool, select this background, and I'm going to delete just to clear up some of the smudging. And I'm going to get my eraser tool and I have to deselect first eraser tool and clean up this area. Okay, this is ready to take into Silhouette. I'm going to save it and open it there and I'll be right back. Okay, I've opened up our kittens and I'm going to select trace area. And trace outer edge. And that's all there is to it. This is how I originally did all my stamps before I started playing with the high pass filters. And you can see now how much quicker you can scan, how you can make your traces by using the filters. But there's still going to be times and stamps that you're going to have to do it manually. So I hope this helps you out and saves you a lot of time.